All right, so here is the final part of the build your own robot program for now. The robot is complete and ready to go. So I will show you the couple things that I've added. We have a nine volt battery with a barrel jack to power the Arduino for the running of the robot. And we have some status LEDs over here. Let me zoom in, we'll take a look. All right, so we have a green LED for go forward, a red LED for go backward, and a blue LED for turn. We have the appropriate current limiting resistors on them, and they are linked via ground here. The forward goes to pin five, the backward goes to pin four, turn goes to pin three. Now we also have an active buzzer here, which means all we need to do is uh, give it a high signal and it'll turn on. It is linked to ground and power, and it goes back to pin number two right here. Alrighty. And you can see I've taken all the wires and run them down underneath, including the wires from the sonar sensor, which were on top yesterday. And they are all now run underneath, collected here with a zip tie. And they run up through a hole in the board here. There's the uh, connections for the switch there. I don't know how well you guys can see that. So everything is running as normal. Let's um, give it a try. But first, we'll look at the code. Alrighty, I think I've got everything commented here that is relevant. So we'll go over it again. This is the Obstacle Avoiding Robot Code by Learn Electronics, originally written January 17, 2017. And the only library that's necessary for this is the new ping library, so we include that. And then we have these defines here, which are for the new ping library. And then we have some new defines these three are for LEDs. We have an LED for forward, one for backward, and one for turn. And we have alarm, which is a beeper that will sound for stop. Then we activate the sonar sensor by telling it the trigger pin, the echo pin, and the max distance. Then we have our variables left motor pin 8 forward, left motor backward pin 11, left motor speed pin 9, right motor forward 12, right motor backward 13, right motor speed is 10. Then we have our timers and speeds. Again, for the sonar, we're beginning by setting avoid to zero. And we have our setup and we're just setting all the pins to output. All right, here is our main loop of the program. Nothing has changed since yesterday in the main loop. Avoid is equal to the results of our sonar ping. And if avoid is greater than zero and less than 10, then we call the function stop. Then we call the function go forward. We delay for our runtime call the function turn, delay again for the runtime, and we go back to the beginning. Now if avoid is not within this range, then the else is activated, we call function go forward, and we delay 
for the runtime. So some changes to our subroutines. Here's the first one, go forward. Now the first thing we're doing is lighting the forward LED, the green LED. We've added a delay of a second here, and at the end of the function, we turn the LED off. The same for go backwards. We turn the back LED on at the beginning. We turn it off at the end. Now for stop, we sound the alarm at the beginning. Let it play for a half second. Turn it off. For turn, we turn our turn LED on at the beginning. Delay for a second. And we turn it off. And that's it. Down at the bottom I have the pins here telling you what they do. And as always, my code will be available in the Dropbox folder, which will be linked below. About to run under the couch. Nope, there we go. got a right turning tendency. Well, I hope you like this little series so far. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe. I'll see you next time.